Hello everybody, welcome back to my classroom. So, today we are learning about square roots. This might apply for 7th and 8th grade. So, for the people who don't know, a square root is this image you're seeing right here. So, the little arrow sign here is the radical, and the number inside the square root, or the radical, is the radicand. So, for example, let's say this is a a cool way on how to solve these problems easy so this number is basically another number multiplied by itself so seven by the power of two so seven times seven let me write that to the sign so this is mostly seven times seven so seven times seven is equal to 49 and let's say you're find you want to find the square root of 49 it's equal to 7 because you already solved it here and if you look good in Desmos you can also type it in so type in 49 and you have your 7 answer as an answer so let's start let's start solving we might solve all of them, we might not. But here it is. There we go. So we're going to solve the first one. So we're going to use technique and decimals as well to help us. So what is the square root of 9? So think of this. What is, nine, what is the number multiplied by itself to get 9? 3. And let me show you why. So you have 3 squared. So it's basically 3 times 3. 3, oops, sorry. 3 times 3 multiplied by itself is equal to 9. Now, we have this one. 1, this is easy, 1 multiplied by itself is equal to 1, so 1, this is equal to 1, y, 1 times 1, there you go, now 16, so what is the number multiplied by 16, 4, so this is going to be 4 squared, equals so this is 4 times 4 which is equal to 16 and you can as I said type it into decimals or the calculator and then it, it'll give you the same answer now we have 256 on this one we are going to use decimals because it's a big number so we have 256 256 our answer is 16 so mostly this is 16 by the power of 2 so 16 16 times 16 is equal to 256 and now let's solve the last one so we have a hundred so what number is multiplied by a hundred so 10 to the power of square root, so it's going to be 10 to, it is going to be 10 times 10 is equal to 100. And that's it for all. I'll be releasing part two of Square Roots. Have a nice day, y'all. Bye.